We're working through the second video now for business math and Excel. And we're looking at activity one related to the budget spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and go back into the spreadsheet now and work through the expenses. So in our budget spreadsheet, we've populated revenue, we calculated gross profit, and we plugged for cost of goods sold, um, or we calculated it as the difference between revenue and gross profit here. Let's go ahead and calculate our expenses. On the data tab, we have annual expenditures. So our expenses in these categories are given to us for 12 months, but we're calculating a monthly budget. So we need to take each of these expense numbers and divide them by 12. I'm going to do that once, so divide the first one, the building, rent, or mortgage, by 12, and then just copy and paste that formula here. If you remember from the basic Excel video, I could also just double click in that bottom corner and that formula will populate all the way down. Now I want to calculate income before taxes. Income before taxes is just revenue minus all expenses. Or, in this case, it would just be gross profit because remember, gross profit is already revenue minus that first expense line item of cost of goods sold. And then I want to subtract the sum of all of the other expenses. You could subtract those expenses individually. You don't have to subtract the sum. Either way, you're going to come up with the same answer. But remember, I'm always looking for the shortest way to come up with the calculation in Excel. So I did gross profit minus the remaining expenses gives me income before taxes. To calculate income tax expense, I'm going to go back over to my data tab. And here again, I have a tax rate, so it says the company's tax rate, but again, that tax rate is embedded in a sentence. So I'm just going to move that tax rate over here into a cell of its own, format it as a percentage, and I'm going to go back to the budget tab. And income tax expense, the formula is just going to be income before taxes, times that tax rate over here on the other tab and hit enter. Now I just need to calculate net income, which is going to be equal to income before taxes minus income tax expense. That term net income just means net of tax. So it's income after we subtract out our taxes. So now we have all of our formulas in for January, but I want to do a little bit of formatting. So I personally like to use the currency format that you can see here whenever I'm doing something accounting-like. So I'm going to make sure that format is on all of these cells. To do that, I'm just going to use the Format Painter real quick and drag that all the way down. So to use the Format Painter, I just um, clicked on a cell that already was formatted as currency, so in this case revenue, clicked on Format Painter, and then just highlighted all of the cells that I wanted to format. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to center January. I'm going to make it gray and I'm going to put a border around it. I'm an accountant, so my formatting doesn't really get much fancier than this. I'll, I'll also bold January, so we'll get a little fancy there. Uh, but that's about all I'm going to do. Um, I know a lot of people like to use a lot of color or they'll format as table up here and use one of these fancy formats here. All that's fine, I just don't really think it's necessary. So this is my go-to formatting. Now, all I wanna do is copy this over to February. But if you remember back from the basic Excel video or if you're already familiar with relative reference and absolute reference, we can't just copy all of these formulas over because some of them are referencing a cell that we always want to reference in every one of the months. So a good example is with gross profit. I do want cell B2 to be a relative reference. I want it to move over when I calculate February to be calculating gross profit using cell C2. So I want that to move over. But if we remember over on our data tab, let's go ahead and look over at it. On our data tab, gross profit is in cell B17 on that data tab. I always want to pull that gross profit percentage or gross profit margin 
from that same cell. So to make it an absolute reference, I'm going to click into the formula, be anywhere in that B17 and hit F4, and then I'm gonna hit enter again. So now when I copy that over, and we can go ahead and look at it just real quick, when I copy that over, now it's pulling cell C2, which was a relative reference, but it's still sticking in cell B17 instead of moving over to cell C17, which is what it would have done if I hadn't used that absolute reference. All right, I'm gonna delete this for now. In a minute, I'm going to stop the video. And I want you to do something on your own before you watch video three of this activity. I want you to go through this column and see where you need to use absolute references and relative references in order to copy and paste this January column over to February and then March. And we can even go on through to six months instead of just stopping at a quarter. But I want you to focus right now on what cells need an absolute reference and what cells need a relative reference so that we can copy and paste from January to February. If you do everything correctly and copy over the column from January to February, you should get a net income for February of 127,750. Again, your check figure for February net income is 127,750. So you're gonna go through the column, check what should be absolute references and what should be relative references, make those adjustments, and then copy and paste over to February and make sure you have the right net income. When we come back for video three, I'll walk through it. So if you don't have it correct, then you'll wanna go through video three and watch that example. If you do get February correct, go ahead and copy it over for March, even through June, and we'll make sure that you have the right work there.